What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan the Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Dang and Rope, but two, goodbye to spare. In the last episode, we got to play some Twilight Syndrome murder game. Um, but the first and third day of that, Chiaki's been with us. Monami released Nagito back to the depths of the universe when he really belongs in the depths of hell, but it's fine. Uh, it's okay. No, he doesn't actually belong there. I don't want, I don't believe anybody belongs there yet. Um, it's still just like Nagito. And in this episode, oh, let's talk to Chiaki. In this episode, we get to, uh, figure out what everybody's talking about, um, in terms of, um, this game. Oh, she's just telling us this, the thing that we were going to do objective wise. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'll take it. Oh, second island. I will take the fact that we're getting told where to go or what to do. Um, that's usually a W, but I was heading there anyway. Oh, yeah, but at least we got experience for talking to Chiaki, right? I think for, uh, you know, seeing her and talking to her and be like, hey, what's up? Uh, I won't. Do I actually get experience? I'll figure that out here. That's no wrong button. I mean, I'm getting points for this, though. So I could just I could just spam doing that, but I'm not going to. Yep. Oh, summary of the game. Summary of the Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? First, the characters who appear in it are high school girls, A, B, C, D, E, and F. There's also a guy, F, who appears in the end, and the high school girls who got killed at the beginning, right? During the game's first day, a murder occurred in the music room, and five high school girls are the first one to discover the body. However, they don't want to get involved, so they end up pretending that they didn't see the body. On the second day, the murder case made the newspaper in an article that stated that a pervert was the killer. People who found out about the five girls, but in fact, Girl D had taken pictures of the crime scene. The girls were afraid that they had been cursed, but Girl A.E. got angry and ripped the photo to the shreds. Mm -hmm. Next is the third day. Girl D summons Girl E and shows her a certain photo. It's a photo of a piece of the broken vase that was in the classroom next to the crime scene. Girl E got really upset and throwed the photo in the garbage. Girl E didn't know that Guy F had recovered the photo. Finally, on the fourth day, Girl E hears a voice saying that I will never forgive you and dies from a blow to the head with a metal bat. Hey, hey. That's about it. Thanks. That was a very big help. Yeah, so that's basically everything that happened the last the two times that we played the game. So that was a really big help. Good job, Chiaki. I appreciate that. I'm starting to get a better layout of the school and, I, and the, the islands, and I really do enjoy it because I'm like, okay, I can go this way to get there faster. What? Okay, we knew Yoko was going to be there, but I did A Mekon, I said, was girl C. Uh, and then he uh, Hiyoko was girl E, I think is what I said. Ah, hi, mate, over here. Ibuki? The names of the staff role of the Twilight Murder Syndrome were um, Sumiki, Kozumi, Sayonji, Miyoto, or Miyota, Sato, and Kazuryu. Wow. I really wanted to find Fuyu Hiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come for, out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, his absence. It's probably because I'm an incom incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get ex executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Mama Wanakuma had something important to tell us, right? We, we came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry. That was a lie. A lie. You tricked us. What the, what the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you guys wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hayame? This is like, I'm on the same team as Nagido? No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Okay. I did not expect Ibuki to be on here. That's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so that we would come to this place. I have nothing to say to impudent regulars, people like you. Regular, huh? She's right that I must be, it might be a regular guy, but 
I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played the Twilight Syndrome murder case, Mikan? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mihiru? Relationship with Mihiru? I first met her, um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving to this island, I did a few, had a few conversations with her, but... Oh, oh, could it be? Did Mihiru hate me? Oh, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me... For her to actually invite me, or, but even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm, invite. Um, um, my hero invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious when she was wondering if we could all meet up so that she could discuss something. But I really had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline. Because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did... I made this lonely face, or she made this lonely face that said, she'll reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Mahiru invited Mikon, but why? Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Yeah. Bring it on! Have you played the Twilight Syndrome murder case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those. Abuki is a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except for electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now it's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? Huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, I mean that in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was, um, um... Ah, when I asked Mihiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made a real disappointing face. A disappointing face? Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Abuki associates it with... In, uh, Abuki associates it with the department store rooftop. Let's stay focused on Mihiro. Totally it turns out Mihiro had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that I instead. She said something like, I, something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um... Do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. Mihiru invited Ibuki. Why? I see. I see. Looks like we've obtained some very valuable testimonies. Based on that, it seems that Mihiru also beat that game. Wh wh why? Why do you know that? You don't know. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like we were doing right now. But in that case, it was more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mihiru would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagino, did you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mihiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Oh, me. Tempt? How? Well, that's a rude thing to say. No, that's, that's disrespectful towards Mihiru. Isn't that There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was. What the heck? Well, but more importantly, isn't it better that we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mihiro spoke to everyone who appeared in that game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko... <laughs> she never talked to me at all! Yeah. Man, what a surprise! I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question! Hi. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now! Hey, ah, hey, Hiyoko! Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. Looks like it's okay to say that she ran away. 
Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here. So why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. See you again later. Ah, hey. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time to investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. But let's go over to Mihiro's cottage first. Mihiro's cottage. If she be thick game, it's best that we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Uh -huh. Is that your cue to say? That's your cue to say yes. Uh oh, uh oh, what did Monokuma do? Definitely something sketchy because it's Monokuma. Um, something motivated, something utterly motivational. Um, she, I can't believe that she has the ending price. Like, I wouldn't expect her to be the one, the first one to do the thing. To be perfectly honest, she's not the one that I would have thought to complete the game first, so. This side, very back. I mean, we would have been able to see the map for that. The door, it's unlocked. Moving up to your told would be a third rate, so... I made sure it's to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate too. I guess I should go inside. There's the ending thing. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell lofting throughout the room. This proves that Mahiru was here, but she's not coming back. And I should try looking for a naughty book. Why? Yep. Now, now. I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait. Could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check it out. The thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Yep. The thing I noticed immediately. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was a few photos. Ah, this photo. This is a photo of Mikani, Buki, and Hiyoko in what appears to be this sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. There's a... There was a similar scenario during the first day in the Twilight True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late. And Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. This is the photo she took. Entersol photo has been added to the Truth Bullet section. Look at this photo too. A broken vase. Is that... The same photo that Girl D showed Girl E on the third day. As I recall. As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But, still. but this photo is even more shocking. As Shiako showed the photo to me, it was stunned it was stunned into silence. Hmm. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like this is in the music room. If that's the case, it could be the photo of the first victim. You mean the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on the pervert? High school girl crime scene photo has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. And one more. This is the last photo. What? This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. 
Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of Girl E. Girl E's crime scene photo has been added to the truth bullet section. With that, we're finished looking at all the photos. So based on all of these photos, it seems pretty clear this is that this is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight. And what's depicted in those photos proves that Twilight Senja murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean the stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What is this? Is there someone, something else? There's a note inside that envelope. Try playing Twilight Sin Syndrome. Press down five, after you get the game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all, you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Huh? Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mihiru. It was someone else sent this to Mihiru, and that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mihiru wasn't the just lured there by Nagito. She also received this envelope, and that's why she played that game, right? Then the person who played the game first. This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written on this note? Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Ending prize has been... Yep, I'm glad we came to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. There's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mihiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, man. Chiaki. What a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's a charm, so they say. Uh, what a coincidence. Are you a stalker or something? No. Don't say that. I was just thinking of filing or filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop on your knees and lick my shoes. What? Just kidding. I was joking, you know. Didn't sound like a joke to me. Well, it's about those footprints and all. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did, did you f find out whose footprints those are? If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Uh, of course, you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but I still have to get a clue. What are you going to do, Chiaki? I'm going to try and talk to Fuyuhiko and see if I can. he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible. But what might be different with a girl? Just be careful if he doesn't get, or that he doesn't get too rough with you. Yep. I guess that's the part, or that's where we part. I'll see you later, Jaime. What? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go ahead to the beach house and wait there. Gundam, what you doing? I was right. Huh? What's happened? I already assumed you would come here. There's nothing you can hide from me, the Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark divas of destruction. Thus I know everything. And for instance, I happen to know your friends. You are preoccupied with your infantile beach play. It matters not. For what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. I see you wanted to be invited too. Now then. Let's try going inside, shall we? Nagito! Whoa. Whoa! Why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I'll be able to walk away just as a mouth with a just a mouth of blue bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Oh, this bastard. Um, you two have arrived at a good time. Big news. big news. I've discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery. Um, not only that. I believe it's nothing like Sonya, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikon. <laughs> yep, this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. 
Well, let's check on Sonya first. Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's this big news? Remember that sandwich Esper Ito mask that was in the ma next to Mihiro's body? Oh yeah, the mask that the killer used to hide their face? No, that's not correct. That mask was not used to just hide used to hide the killer's face. What was it used for? Well, sparkling Justice! Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer that's self-professed ally of the Justice whose name makes the mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Huh? No, don't look so disappointed, Hayame. You need to be surprised. The Sparkling Justice character. This, that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that that mask we found is a hero's mask, but... It's a heroine mask, to be precise. Sandwich Esper Ito is a, a pretty witch girl. She, see, a heroine. Anyway. anyway, so you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mihiru. Mm. Which means that there's a serial killer hiding among us. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this one in a video game. This stupid serial killer, my ass. The killer has just used it to cover their face. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... However. Although, it's easy to write off as foolish. It might be at best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! What the heck was that? Well, that sparkling justice catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. You have a minute. I read it in a magazine in the library. There only has only ever been one person, a journalist, who was able to interview sparkling justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating However, it. However, in the end, that journalist was punished by sparkling justice too. No good could come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making it very mysterious individual. Hey, that kind is that's isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in the group? No, it does not mean that they're they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mihiru. That that's probably not possible. That is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia? I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Mikan, you said you had something to say too, right? Well, well... It's compared to the others, I have to say it isn't important, that important. So please, don't, don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, just go on with it. I, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon clearly was the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Um, it does look like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? Um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant. That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Mikan's autopsy report has been added to the truth bullet section. And there's one other thing I found. I'm sorry, I started talking on my own. You are busy right now. Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy, I discovered that Mahiro set this in Mahiro's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. It seems there's someone who wants us to interfere with... It seems that there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try not to reach... Try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sionji. 
about what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the t place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30. It seems there is someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then and try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean that Hiyoka met up with Mihiru, right? Plus, Mihiru's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., so they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then uh, I'm starting to get confused. If that's true, what does that mean? What happened between Mihiru and Mihiyoko? Letter on Mihiru that has been added to the official bullet section. I don't think that Hyoko committed this murder. There's no... I, no, I, I, I think this was an after the fact. Like, Hyoko and Mihiru were talking about what was going on. And then Fuyuhiko came in. Because Fuyuhiko did come in later. Um, because he was with us at the diner and then left us. Um, that something like that happened. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who randomly appears and claims to be an ally of justice. Although it's easy to write off something this foolish, it must might be best if we exercise some caution. Oh my. Miss Sonia, she looks strangely excited. Awesome! That's a powerful gap, Mo. Man, I really don't get I don't get it, but nice one, Princess. That's the Miss Sonia ever uh, this guy seems so laid back. I should I should leave him alone. Uh, yeah, oh god, we have to talk to Nagito. Hey, tell me what you know already. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find out? After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better I say I snuck in <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? I told Wanakuma I needed to access it for the investigation, and he simply let me in. That bastard, he did something shady again. That's why I did... All right, but why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread or er, spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hayame. Take a look. After all, I wanted went to the trouble of gathering all this. Those, those footprints. I see. So the reason you stuck inside in everyone else's cottages was... That's right. To get a sample of everybody's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It's obvious that the, foot, per, the footprints this person be, or belongs to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hiyoko Sayanji. Hiyoko's. Oh. To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to get back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. But it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected, there was smaller than everyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hiyoko's footprints. Footprints on the beach have been updated to your Truth Bullet 6 in your handbook. Also... It's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting. See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're gummy candies that come from the four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it at the supermarket, and apparently she was really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been another gummy... Or other gummy brands, but she only bought home, brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. These people are who will only eat the same brand, but even, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case? Coming from a guy. This guy, that means it's probably greatly relates to the incident. Gummy bag has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. There it is. Raising its curtain! So meet up 
in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I should actually flip this way if I'm gonna do that. Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our clash our hopes and the killer's hopes will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Right. Now then, let's go prove it. Ugh, what is he excited about? There's no reason there's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make the my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked amongst ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body and went to Monokuma Rock. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, let me go, help me! Well, I, he's doing, he's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Stop it. Hey, stop harassing these little girls. This is, this, what's going on? Hiyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her by here by force. But Hiyoko was still trying to run away, so Monokuma is, Monokuma is trying to wrap her up full Nelson. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm going to make you part of this island's food chain. Jeez, oh. making me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not allowed to have a buff, Monokuma. No, no, no. We're not allowed to have a buff, Monokuma. We're, no, we're not allowed. This is not allowed. His, 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 anger changes, his anger changes form. I'm right here. Aha. Ah, Fuyuhiko. You did come. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so there's no matter the ending. I have to accept it, right? But still. I am a Yuzaka. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Well, it's all good. The trial heats up. It's all good. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. I'll be the first one to step ahead of you guys. Crap, I'm not mentally prepared yet. I tried to give it Monokuma, it's like Monokuma voice, but like in a more steroidy tone. I can't do the steroidy tone. Do you even have to prepare? If you don't have enough power, harness your talent's energy. Come on, bring out that energy. <clears throat> so it begins. The ending. Or the beginning of the end. Now then, let's keep our spirits high so that we can one day find the shining hope. That's right. I can only. Moving forward is the only option. If you don't unleash your power here, where else are you going to unleash it? <coughs> don't you want to avenge my hero's death? Yes, I do. <laughs> what are you dilly dallying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. You should be honored. A mere human such as yourself will present to witness the beginning of the end. I have nothing to do with this. Uh, I, I kind of agree. Like, you have something but nothing, you know? Like, you're innocent. Then... Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. Everybody kind of seems about ready to get into this. Mahiru. Why is it Mahiru? It's this impossible. I should have talked to Chiaki. Oops. Well, that's fine. 
Rawr. Well, let's get up this. Eek, no matter how many times I see it, it's such a bad taste. The worst, the lowest, the most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked into the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by the feeling of similar dizziness. The moment all of us were, it, were inside Monokuma Rock. There's gonna be a cut, like one cutscene, and then that's the end of the episode. A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. As it shook with clatter, the elevators were inside that continued and continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair, as my heart was rotten fruit swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pure presence. I tried to endure the presence, but by firmly standing on my legs, after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Aim, defeat the boring routine. Sale. So I've decided to start re redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible. It's not like they'd allow you such to think otherwise anyway. To get to the trouble of doing something like this elaborate? Really, what's your true intention? No, no. Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. You. Kill time? Yeah. To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Lie. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have a purpose always are the weakest ones of the bunch. That's why you guys should forget to about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. Enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mihiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer, had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her... Oh, they like... They turned it red! is among us. They turn Terra Terra red because he's dead. I don't want to believe it, but I do believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because the only way, aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so... This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. And on that note, um, yeah, I'll get this trial situated, set up, and we will be, uh, you know, doing something crazy in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. See you guys then.